What's up, y'all? It's Dave from Kodawari Collective, and today we're gonna show you how to install these Recaro seats into this Type R. These are the Recaro Sports CS, the pinnacle of the Recaro Sports Seat range, the perfect combination of the comfort and sporty driver's feel, and it offers outstanding lateral and shoulder support for that weekend racer all while keeping you safe sitting nice and plush for the daily drive but this this one's special this one is exclusive ultra limited nerve ring edition only 999 were made and oh yeah we have two of them these seats displays a high performance aesthetic through its exterior features using the highest quality leathers in a sporty black and red color scheme. Ultra light composite material, red decorative stitching and the sporty accent stripes on the back shell emphasize its dynamic appearance. Along with the numbered edition badge on the seat confirms it's an exclusive item. So now that you know the inside details about this Recaro Sports or CS seats, let's put them into the Type R. So the first step is to remove the bolts that attaches the seat to the car. So slowly, tilt the seat back. There's one, two, and three connectors. So remove those. So once you have the harness off, keep that to the side, and you're ready to take the seat out. So in order to install the heated seat harnesses, we have to remove the center console. The first step in that is to remove the side pieces. Now these tri trim pieces, you need to use a trim tool. What you wanna do is you wanna stick this trim tool under this piece here and just twist and pop the clips up. So after removing those side trim pieces, what you wanna do is prepare to remove the shift knob console. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna remove the shift knob first. By doing that, you need a 14 millimeter wrench. You wanna pull down on the shift boot and then you wanna put the 14 millimeter wrench on the locking nut, hold that wrench there and twist the shift knob counterclockwise. Remove the shift knob and you wanna remove the locking nut. What you wanna do next is you wanna remove the two screws which are located on the sides of the shift console. Putting your fingers where the shift boot area is, lift up, so there are three connectors that you have to disconnect from the shift console, which is one, two, and three. And what I like to do is I like to put the screws back into the position so I don't lose them and misplace them. All right, so the next step is to remove the climate control. In order to do that, we need to use the plastic trim tool again. Unclip these two clips on each side. So by doing that, you have to twist this section up you want to pull back towards you. Be careful because there's two connectors that you have to disconnect. So this center section piece comes off next. So there are three screws that you have to take off, which are located here, here, and here. One thing to note is that there are two versions of the center piece. So one comes without the um, phone charger and one comes with. So this version comes with so you would have to remove this trim piece here and you can do that by just pulling up on it. it might be a bit tricky because these tabs are kind of embedded inside so what you want to do is you want to remove these two screws in order to get the phone charger out so there there is actually two clips here as well so what you want to do is you want to pull that up this back towards you and there's a connector right under the charger so the next step is oh, shit. wait cut cut hold on i'll be back Once again. all right we're back so the next step is to remove this power outlet panel. And with this hex key, what we want to do is we want to remove this plastic piece. And there's a hole in this panel. So we're going to use that hole. So what you want to do is you want to pull that 
hex key towards you so that we unclip the clips in this panel. I want to pull that towards you and out. So right behind this panel, there's two clips and harnesses. So disconnect that left clip. And on this one, it's actually on the side. So you want to press down on it and then pull out. So there's three harnesses that we have to unclip and they're located here, here, and here. You want to use a metal trim tool to unclip those harnesses. So you want to pull on the harnesses back slightly so you can get the clips in. Move those to the side. There's also a light here as well. Quickly disconnect that by pulling back. All right, so we're almost ready to take the center console out. There's only a couple more steps. So under this armrest, you have a rubber mat. And under the rubber mat, there are two screws that you have to remove. Place them to the side. Move the handrest forward. What you want to do is you want to remove this piece. So using the plastic uh, pry tool, what you want to do is you want to put it onto the sides. You want to twist so that this side pops off. Do that to the other side. And now you can remove this plastic trim piece. Once you have that plastic trim piece removed, there's one connector here. You want to disconnect that. And right under the connector, there's a harness that is clipped into the back of the center console. You want to remove that with a metal um, pry tool. So once you disconnect that, you're ready to remove the center console. All right, so the center console is pretty much ready to come out. So what you want to do is you want to tug it towards you a bit and pull upwards. But hold on a second. There's one more connector under the center console and that's located in this section here so disconnect that and then you're ready to pull the center console out all right so now that we have the center console removed we're ready to put the harnesses in for the heated seats Recaro actually provides the heated seat harnesses and they're actually right here so what I did before um, putting these harnesses in is I wrap the uh, harness in electrical tape, so in the main section, and then I bunched up the excess wire so that we can reuse the harnesses for a different vehicle. And on the ends of the harnesses, on the brown wire, uh, we would crimp a connector onto the end so that we can ground the brown wire to the chassis of the vehicle. And then you wanna leave the red wire, which is the positive end, exposed run the wire harness under the floor so you can feed the harness through you want to run these wires to the center section through so make sure you readjust so that it doesn't touch the hole where the seats sit once you have that in position make sure that the wire for the ground sits in the center section of this frame there's actually a bolt here that we will be using. It's an eight millimeter bolt. So you want to loosen that and you want to put the ground wire onto the, the, the nut and tighten it down. And then for the red wire, what I would do is I would run the red wire through the center section and onto the driver's side. All right, so once you crimp the ground wire for the driver's side harness, Running the wire under the carpet is pretty much the same as what you're doing on the passenger side seat. The only difference is we're going to be running the red wire towards the front of the vehicle under the fuse box. And also what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tying the passenger side harness positive wire with the positive side ground wire on the driver's side. The side panel piece here upwards and it should unclip itself just like that. Make sure that the clips are still on, to, on the side panel. If not, you can remove it with the metal trim tool. So under this side piece here, there are two clips, one up here and one down here. Once you have that out, it should be loose like this. Now just pull back on this rubber seal and it should come out. Once you have that out of the way, 
route this red wire through the carpet and under the sides. And then you want it to sit around this area of the footwell. All right, so once you have the wire up and close to the, um, the footwell here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be attaching one of these fuse connectors to the positive cable. Remove the wire, a bit of the, the casing on the wire. And then you twist the front and the copper side. And then we can just go ahead and crimp this wire onto the fuse connector. So what, the fuse that we're gonna be taking off will be a 10 amp fuse, which is the accessory fuse here. So we can go ahead and remove that fuse. You can use a plier and go under there. Right, so that's a 10 amp fuse that we're gonna be using. So once you take it out, we're gonna actually put it back into this fuse tap. All right, once you have that in, we're ready to zip tie this wire onto the existing harness to keep it clean. And then we just put the trim pieces back on and we're ready, we're, we're ready to put the seats in. So now that you have all the interior trim pieces back into place, you can go ahead and put the Recaro seats back into the Type R. But before you tighten the bolts, let me show you how to connect the wiring. All right, so these are the two main connectors that you wanna connect, which is the blue one for the seat belt and the red and brown one for the Recaro seat harness. So let's confirm that the switch works. Let's power up the car. So the Recaro switch has two functions, a low, and a high. Great, they work. So the last step is to torque the bolts down to spec, which is 27 foot-pounds. Once you have those locked in, you're ready to go. So if you like that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned because we have a set of Recaro Profi Spas that are going to the NSX. This is Kodawari Dave. We out.